Alright guys, I just made my pre-workout creatine BCAs and pump all in a bundle package for you guys. You can save some money if you get all four. Only a hundred bucks on purelifestyle.com. If you use it like I do, just half a scoop on workout days. This will easily last you two months. Very long shelf life. Very powerful. That's why I only use half a scoop. Now, today, big bench workout. Just under, I think, eight weeks to my next competition, powerlifting meet in New York. I'm not gonna say where just yet. I want it to be a madhouse in there. Um, Coach wants me to hit a three rep max today or AMRAP. So we're gonna see how the warm ups feel and take it from there. Yes, I still stretch my hip flexors, glutes, hammies, piriformis, adductors, pecs and obliques, abs, everything. Because the more comfortable a position you can get when you're locked into your bench press setup, the more efficient of a lift you'll be. So it's the same dynamic stretch and warm up routine every workout. Just too such a break of sweat, really. There are some gyms, like Night Gym in London, where it's so damn cold in there, you'll never break a sweat no matter how hard you work out. We don't like gyms like that. I've always, every single time I've gotten hurt, except one time, it's been freezing in the gym or outside. Cold muscle usually leads to injury. Well, a much higher chance of injury if you're cold rather than if you're warm. Well, muscles feels fresh. My CNS feels fresh. You can kind of tell in the beginning of the workouts, like I've said this a lot in my training videos in the past, uh, PR attempts, you would hear me say, oh, it feels good, you know, I'm just benching a plate or two, because you can feel the explosiveness and how fresh your muscles are in the very beginning of the workout. Even your energy, like when your CNS is primed and ready for a big lift, you'll walk into the gym feeling and very energetic, just mentally there. And there are days you'll go to the gym, right? And it's a heavy day, and maybe it's not so heavy. Point is, you'll go to the gym, and you'll just feel like tired before you even start working out. And a lot of the time, that's because your body just needs to break from heavy training. If you're training heavy every single workout session, it's gonna catch up to you very quickly within a couple of weeks, and then you're gonna hit a mental block and you're gonna to get to the gym, like I said, not even begin training yet and feel exhausted. So when you feel, when you feel, like I said, energetic and like pumped and just confident, the minute you start warming up, that's a good sign like your CNS is primed and ready for a big lift. So. Guys, I just finished my elbows, my PR elbow sleeves. The ones you've been seeing me wearing in training the last few months were very thin and I didn't launch them because they just weren't good enough. So after lots of trial and error, I'm trying to get it down right, I came out with these. These are very thick. I don't know if you guys can tell just by looking at it, but they're very thick. They're gonna take some effort to put on. They're gonna provide a lot of support. Not as much support as an elbow wrap, but enough support where you're protecting your joints and getting a little oomph, but not too much like an elbow wrap where uh, you're getting like 20 to 50 pounds on your bench and you go to competition for example or you take them off and you feel like what the hell just happened. So these are good for training uh, for powerlifting because you're not getting too much support. You're just getting just enough to keep like I said the ligaments and tendons muscle warm while you're benching keeping it safe extra layer of uh, protection 
and you're getting a little oomph, maybe five, 10 pounds on your bench at the most. So let's get these on. All right, one, two, three. Ah. All right, much easier, right? It got loose last, last time. Yeah, so these are my second time putting them on. The first time it was very difficult. Um, you do want them to be tight, not so tight where your hands turning purple and you're losing circulation and they get, your hands get all tingly, that's too tight. Uh, it would help to have a buddy. Hopefully you're not a loner and you have friends and you can have somebody like Sharif here uh, hold it open so you have one hand here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Two hands for him, and then you push down on three. So one, two, three. Ah, right. There we go. All right. Now I need some BCAs to recover from that. Some more pre-workout. Five minute nap. Maybe a donut. You'll notice that it's breaking apart here. I see it too. This is just a prototype, the final version that will be on the website won't have this problem. This was just a type for me to test before I drop it this Friday. Friday, what, what day is Friday? Uh, the 20, 27. Yeah, so you're not gonna have this on the, guy, the version that you guys get. This was just a, a version that was rushed out to me so I can test them out before I release them to you guys. Right, guys those have been liking what you see and I've been supporting all these years or if you're just a new subscriber thank you so much uh, to support this channel just like subscribe turn on post notifications hit the bell button drop a comment share it with your friends it goes a long way for me keep the channel running and uh, keep more PRs to come like, thank you so much So I got two with a I think it was a pause. I didn't even want to play back footage myself yet. Uh, Long time no benching and especially pause benching. So it's gonna take a while to come back. Um, not too long. I think I'll be, I know I'll be ready for competition. It's just uh, a matter of my body getting used to heavy load with a pause again. So uh, this is probably the heaviest way I've touched on the bench, touch and go or pause regardless in months, like at least almost like three months. So I want to say for first heavy session back, this is good enough. Um, it's only gonna get easier from here.
What I'm doing right here is called the Spoto Press. Eric Spoto came out with it. You just pause for about three seconds, competition pause, an inch off your chest, yeah? So, most people's sticking point right off the chest. And if it's not, you're developing better power in this range, so you'll be more explosive, and that momentum can carry you to the lockout. Even if, let's say, your sticking point isn't here, it's right here, right at the very top. The faster you're off the chest and do this mid-range, that momentum will carry you to a lockout. So, right now I'm getting over a cold. I got sick a couple days ago. Um, and this is my first heavy bench day since my bicep injury. It's been about three months, actually. 10 weeks, maybe. Ne nearly three months. So, very happy that today I can bench about over 95% or my current warm max is gonna go up as the weeks go on and I get close to the competition. But very happy that I can press this much. First day back and no pain. Uh, no shoulder pain where it's attached, just attached up here, no pain here, no pain anywhere in the injured arm. Well, it's not injured anymore. So I'm in good shape. Uh, in a couple days from now, I'll be going for a heavy deadlift. And uh, looking forward to that, my favorite lift. But for the rest of today, we guess just uh, got some accessory work I got to do. Banded tricep work, this is called a light green band. I like to use the green band when I'm doing squats or deadlifts um, against the band, meaning when I'm using the band to make the lift harder. I use a light green band. When I'm bench pressing against the band, is always a thin red band that's doubled up. So for my tricep work, I'm just using, you can use anything really. That's about uh, eye level. Wrap it over like so. Be careful so it doesn't slip off and hit you in the face. <laughs> and so you can increase the range of motion by leaning into it, standing up. Yeah, so meet right in the middle and and we're doing high reps here. At least 20. Do your best to keep your shoulders down when you're pushing down. It's easy when it gets difficult to want to shrug up. So you want to keep these shoulders back and down as much as you can to isolate your triceps here. This is too heavy. You can just use a smaller band like a red band because you don't want to get like two, three reps and you want to do at least 20. Yeah. So, first heavy bench day since injury, sick. I say it went very well. I still have plenty of time for my competition, eight weeks to go. Definitely not peaked yet, but, you know, just in the very beginning of the strength phase, haven't transitioned to the peaking phase yet. I'm doing a powerlifting meet in November in New York. Um, body feels good, feel healthy, aside from the mild cold, getting good sleep, getting my meals in. And training so far is going really well. Got a deadlift here on in a couple of days, which will be the next video after this one. 
So don't miss out on that one, and I'll see you guys soon.